Hey YouTube, this is John Kim with another Blender tutorial. Um, uh, when you do renders, this render right here, see that? I mean, I mean that that, that looks okay, right? But the shadows, you know, it doesn't look too good, right? And it's a painstaking task to set up a good lighting system. So Blender has a thing called ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion lights up all the environments. So like in the darkest of the dark, you can have ambient occlusion. And ambient occlusion lights up everything. So here, here's what a normal render would look like, right? Normal standard render of a cube. But now, it's just a simple cube. And once you turn on ambient occlusion, it's in the world it's in the world within the um, within the properties panel. It's in world in Blender render, not in Blender cycles. Ambient occlusion factor 1.0. Look at this. Look at that. That looks amazing. Um, this can be used for all conventional purposes. Like if you you don't need a single lamp, you just delete all the lamps and look render. Looks exactly the same. Everything's lit up. Um, this intro is actually made with ambient occlusion. Uh, ambient occlusion can be used for a lot of stuff. Warning: ambient occlusion can increase your render time, but it's worth it. I mean, it's really. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That simple cube looks amazing. Look, look how it normally looks. <laughs> so I, I'm telling you that you, you, I mean, the question is amazing. You can implement it into many stuff. If you, if lighting doesn't look right, it'll be switched to AO or cycle. Cycle is pretty awesome too. All right, and with that, I guess see you later.